Rain on the way in the short term, though, people in northwest Georgia are hoping they won't have a repeat of last weekend's flooding. Right now, Governor Brian Kemp is wrapping up a tour of hard hit Chattooga County, which is about an hour and a half drive northwest of Atlanta. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm is live in Somerville. Rebecca, many people in that town are now on day four without running water because the city's water treatment plant was flooded. Yeah, that's exactly like, right, Rob. We learned from the governor and others that it, the water treatment plant, they're still trying to dig out the mud there. So it could be several more days before they get clean water running again. That means more days of this. Volunteers scrambling to provide bottled water, food, and other necessities to people who sure could use the help. On the ground in Somerville, Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp is hearing directly from residents of Chattooga County about the Labor Day weekend flooding that wrecked their homes and businesses. Number one, I know this has been, um, you know, tough economically for this community and tough on their families. You know, kids are not in the classroom right now because we don't have water availability in the schools. And obviously parents are dealing with bigger issues right now. Kemp and other state and local officials fielded questions from business owners like Heather Casey. Her gift and decor shop had three feet of water in it, ruining almost all of their merchandise. Chris Stallings is director of the Georgia Emergency Management Agency. We have been in contact with FEMA. We are requesting the individual assistance program to come and do assessments. Uh, they should be on the ground probably either this evening or tomorrow. He says meanwhile they're working as fast as they can to clean up Somerville's flooded out water treatment plant and assess the damage so they can get the water flowing again. Our main concern is making sure we're keeping water uh, for, for individuals that need it so they, and get meals to them so they can survive. And taking a live look outside City Hall here in Somerville, the school, school superintendent here in Chattooga County was here at the news conference. He says without running water in their buildings, no working bathrooms, no way to prepare meals. They're basically in wait and see mode as to whether they can reopen schools. It all depends on the progress at that water treatment plant. And the governor assured them that the state is doing everything it can to help move that process along. Live in Somerville, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Yeah, one of those things is just tough to have a timetable on, which makes it all the more difficult for people there. Rebecca, thank you.